let's solve this exponential equation. Notice that the variable of each equation is in the exponent. So the primary method is we are going to take ln on both sides to bring the expression down. The first one is 5 raised to the negative 3 minus x equals to 10. So the first step is I'm just ln both sides because that is the only way to bring the power down. So we bring this down, 3 minus x, let's put that in the parenthesis. We have ln5 equals to ln10. And then what we are going to do next is we want to do everything we can to isolate x on one side. We have negative 3 minus 6 equals to ln10 divided by ln5. All right, and then what else can, can we do? How about this? We move the x to the right side and then we move the ln to the left side. So we have negative 3 minus ln 10 divided by ln 5 equals to x and then this is our answer. Uh, do you need to approximate that? I would say read the instruction when you do homework online. If they ask you to approximate, yes, then approximate that. When you approximate this on your calculator, I highly recommend you to do this in one line. So you write, you type a negative 3, and then you minus, you use a parenthesis. And then inside the parenthesis, you have negative 10 divided by negative 5. So don't just uh, evaluate ln 10, evaluate ln 5, uh, round them, and then divide them, round them again, and then take the 3 minus the quotient, because that might accumulate a little bit of round off error. Moving on to the next equation, the next equation, let's switch to a different color. The next equation we have 5 times 3 raised to the 8 minus 2x plus 13 equals to 53. Don't just ln both sides right now in order to, before we ln both sides, I want to isolate the exponential term alone. So what we are going to do first, we will subtract both sides by 13. So this is 5, 3, 8 minus 2x. When you subtract both sides by 13, this is equals to 40, right? And then you divide both sides by 5. So you have 3, 8 minus 2x. That is uh, 40 divided by 5. That is equals to 8. So that is equals to 8. So now you have the expo you have this on one side. Now is a good opportunity to ln both sides. And then carry the exponent down. So you have 8 minus 2x. Carry it down. Ln3 equals to ln8. Divide both sides by ln3. You have 8 minus 2x equals to ln8 divided by ln3. And then what is next? The next step is you subtract a on both sides and then you divide both sides by 2. Um, let's move this over here. So we subtract a on both sides, negative 2x equals to ln8 my, divided by ln3 minus 8. And then you are going to divide both sides by negative 2. So when you divide this side by negative 2, here is how I present the answer. I have a negative ln8 divided by, divided by 2, right? So I will put a 2 right here, ln3. And then minus 8 minus 2, you have a plus, plus 4. So the 2, I should, I should do that in, uh, in using a highlighter. So the 2, let me erase this first. The 2 should be right here. And then you box your final answer. I always report the, um, the exact answer. I don't really like rounding the final answers. All right, so the next problem, next problem, What? which one should I do? I, I, I want to do an e. I want to do an e to the 3x plus 2. Let's do it. So we have e to the 3x plus 2. Actually, I'm going to move a little bit to the right. 3x plus 2, and then equals to 2x minus 1. Exponents is that variable is in the exponent. This one we can ln both sides immediately. So we ln the left and then we ln the right. Bring the power down. You have 3x plus 2 times ln e and ln e is equal to 1. And then this one we have x minus 1 times ln 2. So ln e is equal to 1 
and then this is equals to 3x plus 2 equals to I believe that we have to distribute the ln2 so we write x ln2 and then minus 1 times ln2 and then we move all the x to one side we have 3x minus x ln2 equals to minus ln2 minus 2 and then we factor out the x so we have x times 3 minus ln2 equals to minus ln2 minus 2 and then we divide both sides by the parentheses so finally we have x equals to minus ln2 minus 2 divided by 3 minus ln2 and then that's it that is the final answer to the third equation the next one let's do this one okay let's pick a different color first what should i pick let's pick a green uh, i will copy the problem for you so that is uh, e to the 2x plus e to the x minus 12 equals to zero the the other two problems i will copy that for you as well don't worry about it so this one we are going to do a substitution so e to the 2x i'm going to do a e to the x and then raise that to the second power and then this one is e to the x i will raise that to the first power minus 12 equals to zero and then i am going to let y you know what it looks way better if I do this in a different color. I'm going to let y equals to e to the x. Now, do we agree that this becomes a y square plus y minus 12 equals to 0? Look, square plus y minus 12 equals to 0. Then that becomes a quadratic equation. So quadratic equation, we factor that, uh, which is plus 4 and minus 3 because negative past the 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 and then past the 4 plus negative 3 is equals to 1. Apply zero product properties you have y equals to negative 4 and then y equals to 3. Of course we are not done we are solving for x not solving for y right. So you have negative 4 equals to e to the x and then a 3 equals to e to the x. So first of all e is 2.7 if you multiply 2.7 by itself a few times you are not going to get a negative so therefore this one has no solution how about the other one the other one simple you take ln on both sides and then you bring the x down right so ln3 is equals to x times ln e and then finally x is equals to ln3 ln e is equal to 1 you have to remember this ln e is equal to 1 because e this little e raised to the first power there is a base over there e to the first power is equal to e we have two problems left don't worry about rewinding the video i will copy the problem for you so the next problem is 3 to the x equals to 7 to the x squared okay so we have the variable in the exponent we can ln both side immediately ln both side and then bring the power down you have x times ln3 equals to x squared times ln7 and then what do we do let's move all the x to one side so l x ln3 and then minus x squared ln7 equals to 0. Perhaps we can apply zero product property. Factor out an x, ln3 minus x times ln7 equals to 0. All right, so we have a product equals to 0, right? We have x times another product equals to 0 by zero product property, x equals to 0, and then this product equals to 0 solve for x easy so we have ln3 equals to x times ln7 and then you divide both side by ln7 you have x equals to ln3 divided by ln7 and this answer cannot be simplified it is what it is and then the other solution is x equals to zero let's do the last one the last one what color should i use let's use blue the last one is 14 divided by 3 minus e to the 
2x equals to 4. I need to get out of the fraction by multiplying the denominator on both sides. So we have 14 equals to 4 times 3 minus e to the 2x. And then we divide. Oh, actually, you know what? Not divide. I will just distribute 4 on the right side. So this is the 12 minus 4 e to the 2x. This is equals to 14. And then subtract both sides by 12. You have 2 equals to negative 4 e to the 2x. And then you divide both sides by negative 4. You have a negative 1, 1 half. You know what? I should like move this over here. Look, I should move this over here. Divide both sides by negative 4. So you have negative 1 half. Negative 1 half equals to e to the 2x. In order to bring the power down, I need to LM both sides and that creates a huge trouble. And that's why I make this problem for you. So what happened when you take the L LN of negative 1 half? Is this defined? No, right? LN of 0 is undefined. LN of negative is undefined because for LN, when you check out the graph of natural logarithm and common logarithm, what's the domain? We talked about this in the previous video. For natural log and common logarithm, the domain must be x greater than 0. So therefore, LN negative 1 half has no solution. And then this is it. So this has no solution. The entire equation has no solution. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you like the way I teach these contents, give my video a thumbs up, give my channel a subscribe. Pro I promise you that it is worthwhile coming back to visit and learn more math contents for me. All right, I will meet you all in the next video. Take care.